I think, bearing in mind, they smelt money. <laughs> Do they? Did they not have a point that perhaps it was their oil? Most of it was just off the, the, the shore of Scotland. Well, they had the point if they were as greedy as sin as they were. I mean, the only thing that fueled nationalism was the smell of oil and money in oil. I mean, it really is the most monstrous piety on their part to say that they are true upholders of the saltire and God knows what. They were after brass and not let's kid ourselves. Well, I suppose it gave it, it gave the argument credibility <coughs> for the first time. Well, certainly it did. I mean, it was an entirely credible argument. We want money for Scots and blow the English and the Welsh. Oh, yes, yes. But that, 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 that I think, would now be described as greed. The case for, for uh, self-government that's been running in Scotland is a serious political issue for 100 years. I mean, 1967 was the first big breakthrough in modern political times, which really was a bit before the oil was thought of. Certainly the, there was an impact of oil which gave the argument more economic credibility, which is of course why Bernard Ingham was so desperate to try and knock it down using any tactic he, he, he possibly could. Uh, it was fear that, that motivated Bernard Ingham. He, he was there as, uh, uh, as a, an operator trying to undermine. But what he mistakes is the, the impact of oil on economic confidence as opposed to oil creating Scottish nationalism. It's the Scottish nationalism is existence because Scotland is a nation. That's why people believe in independence for Scotland. The problem for somebody like Bernard Ingham, he can't get his head around the fact that, that Scotland is a country, not a county.